hey, what's happening? Today I'll be reviewing the Immune Ox Classic Combination Blade from OSP that Robert Palatinus was kind enough to send me. The Immune Ox Classic was originally designed for defensive players using regular inverted rubbers on the faster forehand side and no sponge pips on the slower backhand side. However, at a recent tournament I noticed that one of my teammates was using the OSP Immunox Classic and he is a spin offensive player using Hurricane 3 in his forehand and medium pips in his backhand. And let me tell you, his shots are very consistent and do not lack power. Being a spin offensive player myself, using Hurricane 3 in forehand and aggressive short pips in my backhand, I have been looking for a blade that offers a softer feeling and longer dwell time on the forehand side for increased spin potential and a sharper feeling on the backhand side enabling direct blocks and drives and disruptive effects. As you open the box you are greeted by a lovely smell of freshly hewn lumber. Inside the box you will find the blade, a little booklet that lists technical information and dimensions for the blade, and small sheets of surface veneers for repair jobs. The craftsmanship of this blade is immaculate, with a straw-colored outer ply on the forehand side and a reddish-brown outer ply on the backhand side. I'm guessing limba was used on the forehand side and mahogany or walnut on the backhand side. Everything about this blade is super smooth and comfortable. OSP allows you to tailor the size of the blade head and handles. Robert made my immune ox classic a little smaller than usual to tailor it towards my more aggressive style. Thus it has the following dimensions. 160 millimeters in height, 152 millimeters in width, a thickness of 5.9 millimeters, and weighing 86 grams. I tested the blade using a 40 degree blue sponge Hurricane 3 in my forehand and Spin Lord Gipfelsturm pips in my backhand. I first evaluated the blade in regular configuration, that is, using the forehand rubber on the forehand side and backhand rubber on the backhand side, and then in reverse configuration. All of the subsequent footage is from me testing the blade in regular configuration. The blade produces a reverberating feeling on forehand drives. Although the blade supposedly is an all-round plus blade, it feels surprisingly fast due to its flexible nature and high throw angle. Backhand drives with the Gipfelsturm's pimple out rubber felt sharper than on other blades due to the harder nature of the outer plug. Passive forehand blocks with the Immunox Classic are super solid although not overly fast. My passive backhand blocks produced considerable amounts of spin inversion, which rendered follow-up loops more challenging for my opponent. The thin and bouncy nature of the blade, however, meant that some of these types of blocks floated long. Active forehand blocks during match play were equally stable as the blade's lower inherent speed gave me the ability to redirect the shots in hard to reach places.
the immune ox classic felt good on active backhand blocks during match play as the flatter throw angle combined with the moderate pace of the blade allowed me to direct the shots with good consistency. Forehand looping with the Hurricane 3 Immune Ox Classic combination was very comfortable due to the blade's very high throw angle. The long dwell time of the Immune Ox Classics forehand side allowed me to impart high levels of spin on long forehand pushes, but I had to use soft hands due to the blade's flexible nature to prevent the pushes from going long. While my forehand loops were slower than with other blades, I enjoyed exquisite control and was able to place my third ball attacks and in-game loops in hard to reach places with excellent consistency. Backhand short pip openers against backspin required soft hands. The sharper feeling, shorter contact time and lower throw angle compared to the forehand side results in a lower margin of error than on the forehand side. However, as I grew accustomed to these characteristics, I managed to land backhand openers with good consistency. I was expecting having to swing like crazy when engaging in forehand loop-to-loop -loop rallies, given that this, supposedly, is a defensive blade. This turned out not to be the case. In fact, I had to moderate my input power in order not to overshoot the table, as the blade's bouncy nature, very high throw angle, and base level of speed propelled the ball forward. A little bit surprising to me, I didn't quite enjoy the OSP Immune Ox Classic as much in the reverse configuration. The throw angle was noticeably flatter on forehand loops, resulting in a reduction in safety over the net. Also, I wasn't able to impart as much spin on my forehand loops, pushes and serves. All in all, my forehand loops seemed less powerful and caused my opponents less trouble. Flat backhand blocks had a greater tendency of floating long and were not quite as dangerous as they were less spin inverted. So there you have it. The OSP Immune Ox Classic is an interesting, beautiful and versatile blade that can be used by modern defenders, close to the table push blockers with ox pips, aggressive backhand pimple out players using spin offensive strategies, and two winged loopers who value control and spin over speed. This is a blade that suits players who have excellent feeling in their hands. Thank you to Robert Palatinos for providing me with this blade and thank you for watching this video. You know the drill. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and then We'll see you next time.